Getting into this task, know that it is not an easy task. You are against something that is, you are against the, the strongest thing in land of Uganda. You know, uh, the word corruption and Uganda they move together. The word corruption and the people in power they move together, hand in hand. Recently, I've got a story of uh, the secretary. The, the I think is it the secretary general of the Uganda Sports Manyanga Council. Uh, he had a conflict with my good friend, um, Salah Babide Chicho, who was before the MP for Youth of Uganda region. And, you know, Salah was the chairperson of the netball of Uganda. But this Salah, they told Salah to sign money. Ngabamu waka tugeze milioni kumini, amu gamba signing anti ofunye milioni atano. This man took him to prison uh, together with the first lady's office and also some army people until everything as you got to know. Nele ilo ngenzo kusoma, ngana yeba munga ambi, wadita jena agami, yeti hata ite wagena kuongeza ayo contract ye. So everything a person does, at the right time. Uh, time uh, my, my, uh, you know, I learned a lot from, uh, from Mugisha Montu, apart from being my good friend also. He always uses this word on his lips, time is the best teacher. But it is the best teacher when you know how to handle and to utilize it. The change nizo bagamba, tulimbude tukuza nilamu. Na kuzinombade ndaba waze wenye mtu ya bika lingi Mtu na chusa uwanga na mtu nuliza Dr. Stella Nate Dr. Nate Dr. Umu nabe wafetu mumanyi Ebya fogu kukuru wetuwe ina kwa zinzo Oba Dr. Stella Yanku lida bubi omu kono Oba yanku lida bubi okuguru Ebyo sibi ya kakati Leka soketu sa gule nsiku Omu ganda agamba Gwosu semuanyi Omu sanga mitala anga ya ungura which I can say it means Gosu se mwanye saa we no kanzu tobi ya sobe ele mdada Gwejo kusange mitala angatea ya wungula So we should be very conscious When we are dealing with these issues There are some things that uh, are not easy to discuss on space But we should be more conscious We should be more focused Because we have everything We do to wazata wa sabo beka lakasa But think about it Inti mukasela keka mwa wa sabo bali mkweka lakasa Aba kwa ziba yunu labeka lakasa Aba sume sabamba ta deviko la wansi Aba pupuka na boba igu baku miogutaka Aba subu zina waba deva imso kuja uka Tia waka sita angawe na waga amba Boba wali wali akasente wa unyeliza angambwa Na yaba futa boba gambia hape tucha gade wo Do you know what it means? Netuke ila kumachane tuga mantiba naye Echibuka chichafu nyaya babe mkono Mufune utaki saa huu, haba mba emu piwe bajira mpipu wa gali enu, wabula, wabula uilo mula anga, wabula kufangisiza haba ntu wabu zikosta. Wabula mba emu kone chibuka chichafu, mje tu chere, tuere, tu parliament nchafu, kasasi silo mungi, mje tu ere, ere kwa huu. Nga wajja, natuga ababari kule hoi marodi, mje tu ere, which would be the grand exodus to clean. Netula wengeli jewa na diplo inga mumukono neku makubo gonaga yingile chibuka. So, Cheshiro wazo, bachi lesa kumachana na hivi lewezo yu mtu vile ita nevita mkube choko lala chenya lalo kuo gila po. Fuguwa kulaba antibuli spesi jetuwe ila mwe vama omura mwa. Tulekila u spesi zoku kubo obulacha, kudia netuogeza amanyi. Nesuta vama na resolutions. The reason why we make these spaces is to come out with resolutions, with strategies. Netuma nyanti, ya ino miti kitu vudemu na hivi vile obachi mu. Na hivi tudamu spesi zi na kuzone tudamu mbozi. Gundi yanku lido kugunu. Gundi yanku lido amasu. Gundi wa mula Eze sawa nizigena, ne muwa yomu nyampi omu, na jana abatabula, ne muka ya ne sawa kumi. We should be more, ngai bagama anti aboku Twitter tulibagezi yichimala. We should be more wise. Buli space ya tuisiko tuve mne resolution ye. Mwabali kusecho, buli space tuve munga tuga meti. Space eno tujisonze mwe mitu wala asatu. Jige nze wajie imo kukola posta. Tumanyo ntikari. Vyo kutesa yu vya guwa yu katituli kukulachi. Tuli mkukuteka mkukola resolutions. Tumanya nchi ya space ya wede tufunye mitu walu kuminawe lwa nusuru kumi inga veruvu demu space. Nchi ya wapo statu wapo ze kodjo. Tikati ya aha. Savings is aligo no kuyamba in case. Nchi ya aha. Chitu yambo kuwe lati tetuwe ila mkasiburi kasera mbu imagence. Sima yate wupapula kwa wedeo. Ata ya tuwe taga ya atano. Ata ya tuwe taga ya atano. Tuwe renga tulisi sima tiki mbu ya tukola. Chense mbi ayo. Chense mbi ayo chilichimu. Nze naba gambie. Space agency ya nenda wa mwaba ntu ungaba sirivi ya babi manj Mutupesi mtuwachi tubakiriza munga kwa sito ina O ina ibato nye soolo mu O mu buloki inga no mu goba mu space Tuwa za space za fezu kurashi inga Luan songa muba wo vude nebaja mu space Neba haki inga The easiest way to hack is to be inside that space Watch the gate Aba mani computer mso olo tuwa ulamu hawa Nze visipo kubela mu space inga Ndine isima nyanga iza kanuwa manyari hawa Sima sirivi yari hawa Eje Aba mkati wapo stinga na ebo Uba kwa stinga kuzipeji za abu Basolo kujia watu huza abu ze 
gwe kekendo kilire before 23 yali hapo stinga chi au we mujyo kumanyira gwe abanga before 23 yali ta attending at hapo stinga ngate umulonga ne waka jaji hapo stinga abulanga byali hapo stinga before 23 byali contrary omanyi ku twitter tetu delete nga ogenda yo tubiraba so we should be wise the hosts ebyo bintu bitu ti the spaces is a fine tubera awo nga tubera mukukaya na why would you give them space ngamuti many spaces are kuteka teka this is not a debate platform this is to uh, to make strategy and also to make us uh, to to make people feel more safer it is for us to discuss what is what, what pains us and how we can overcome it kiri ngo kubelanga mumanyi nti kutyalo kuliko omubi ne munga muti manyi na yeye manyi mubi nga namwe muti manyi mubi ne nga mutuza meeting omubi ono tumukutte tutya ne ngo mubi mumukiriza na jana abatu amna ene mumu omuzinda alwa matubulire lwacho ba Atna kubat by the dem buzal wa chubamba wa mo obupi ontu kusabo no we so nywe ogusoka na abafu mana abasekerera no nsha naje mwana tu twakula tutia nti dala we should remain partyless tribeless ezo mpaji luwaga etu batu wagalo okugusa awuliti zebyo byebi correct ofundike deto yogedde kumulama gwa lero naming the culprits ah ah Okay, yes, uh, uh, to that, but uh, uh, the reason we are here today, uh, uh, tonight, uh, is to discuss the issue of uh, database and website, uh, how we can document uh, all uh, these illegal activities uh, being uh, done by uh, these culprits, uh, the, the crimes, the corruption scandals, and uh, uh, who are uh, the criminals. So uh, that's the okay. reason. Okay. Uh, th- that's what we've been discussing. Okay, my brother. For me, what I think, first of all, Mogi, Wanji, Mogi, mm. nisaba kuga kantu katini. Bambi abafu aba abatu abatu sonde la kasente tuwe yanziza tuwe yanze. We are receiving, yes, we are receiving uh, money so far. Amo gundi ya 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 flyers tuwe zamu mituala ana so far. And those of you who are uh, 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 volunteering to donate, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, that is a great thing. Let me go back to the to the point. Uh, the database, first of all, it means dealing with sensitive information. And I think Council Tobias knows very well if we talk about sensitive information that we want to use in future for for, for holding these people accountable. It should be well, the, the scrutinization of it, or the, to scrutinize this information should be more vital. Because uh, I, I think I came through the streets and I passed through, but doctor was speaking about verification of this information so that we are not of kalebule because we tube edela ne kakalebule nga katini bwe kati you know these people that we are dealing with ke bajjo zimbira ko ekintu nga kinene but the good thing we have uh, we have uh, people who are victims and i think within the law a victim is it is it is um, he or she is 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 a very big thing you know because even in, even in islam they tell us olibo abaga manti no yayenze na nga na yeye tayi ba mtu ma nga tuba na msaadi na msaangu nje na ulope wa wa imamu nti bundi ya yenzi ba mchele bundi ya yenzi ba kugamba leta leta ba bundi na ba juli ziba sato ba juli ne waba wala jina masoko na inga tu ina ba juli ziba sato akusilia mtu gamba imamu aino kugala miza akuise kwa wembu ya o kujia na tu ina ba juli zii no waizo mtu o bwenzi ori kasta ba ngaji taka mti yes ba ndavi nikiiri zanga jeti ya yeyo gerede ba bulanga gole somsa la blink three witnesses so it means having victims that uh, are in real time alive not mentally ill uh, it is one thing it is one pillar we have so to you know kwe si banyo kwecho na dala kuba bantu webogera ko bali lively kuba kati ngoyo masiko buli ayita ko ku CPS mu dungeon za mumanyi so it means it is not a hearsay so that is uh, one thing that uh, we know nechi dala okusija yoko ku okwe kugena ke maigane tukebera ku mauli da makade ku bosanga bana abantu abakole bichamu already baba ina bya bakola mauli ne ngabi kuba because that is one system engeri government eno die kola for example mm. during kaihula mm. that man called chitata he used to tell his Ugandans as a special kampala mm. okay people in kampala okay it has been on record he was even uh, uh, prosecuted in the courts of law okay but he's now a free man he was freed yeah, okay? yeah. so that, By the that state. Uh, and the reason he was freed in 2021 to, to even terrorize more more people during uh, uh, the election and so uh we must uh put these people uh, in a brain site so that all Ugandans 
uh, know that they are dangerous people in our society. Yeah, then another thing, what you want to have a more vehicle of duty is Bob and Nini. For example, Omchala Mumba, Yaisa Chigambo Mukamana Gamba, we shall kill your children. It is on record. And a government official to just merely say, I will kill you, I think Castle Tobias, you can bear me witness. In court, no, Lina Jana Gamma and Omuntu Yafa, na ye neighbor Yagama and Tino to Jabata and to Benyumbe, Omuntu Nafa Bufiao. Om Sound Ugena Mokoti knows the Castle Tobias, I get a Jimmy Munide. Even a mere word. So we have. Yeah, the same applies to Eli Tumine, uh, even in Anita, and uh, Anita Mong. Anita Mong was in Bukomansi when she said, uh, you are free to steal. Castrova and Godiza Kavalozu. Yeah. And so we shall catch them by their so statement. You have to scrutinize that. I'm just giving you some ways to scrutinize. But uh, some people, there, there, there are some people who will come personally, but that is another business. They have to be scrutinized very well. We shouldn't leave loopholes because they can also themselves bring fake information so that in the long run they can come and backstab. That is another way of these people, how they, they, they act. So we should be more vigilant when we are doing the, the things. We have people who are on, on, on public record, record, speaking and talk, talking about uh, this. Another person, I'll tell you, Nabanja, when he was on the, in parliament, he said, we have uh, Chibalama. He was arrested in this and this. And then NUP is asking, where is Chibalama? They are saying, we don't know. And then the prime minister said, we have him. The family is saying, ah, we don't have our father. He said, he's, he went a wall. Such controversies, you, you have to go back in those media to pick interest, you know, to pick those information so that you can create a very cool. You can even in the in the website you go solo kula fai longa bobo namu ebuli parts by parts. Parts. Councillor Tobias is here. I, I would request him to ask for mic so that that he can guide us on what, how best we can deal with that in, in ensuring that we filter all this information, we get credible information, uh, and separate yes and opinion uh, and allegations from facts. And everything. So, uh, Councilor Tobias will ask for a mic, uh, since you are here and guide us. Uh, you can continue. Mr. Yeah, so, so, for me, about that, I think it could be very, very uh, vicious and very great. And also, uh, the good guy is uh, preparing uh, tomorrow uh, a, a round table or a press conference. It's if you're keen and listen in, I think many people will be speaking and uh, you can pick interest from their stories. And then from there, it can be the start of the website and the database as other people come in, but we should be very, very conscious in the information that we come and feed the, 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 the system, because the people like who are in the UN and the ICC, they are cunning as wolves. If you bring half-baked information, you're doomed. They will never believe in you even if you bring something good, so long as you have brought one thing that is not right. And these people in government, they know that rule, that they will bring one thing that is fake, and it will tarnish all their hundred stories that are good. Even if, I think even in courts of law, Castor Tobias, when he starts to speak, he will tell you. Even if in courts of law, even if you bring 1,000 evidence and you lie on one thing that is vivid and the, and the defendant lawyer, you know, sticks on that one lie that you said and he verifies that one lie, it can make you to lose the case. Okay, Mr. Mugisha, uh, let me give uh, uh, Castor Tobias, Mike, to, 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 uh, to enlighten us about uh, this number of cause. Council. Yeah, so uh, good morning to you all. Uh-huh. Yeah, yesterday I was supposed to speak, but uh, my phone shut down, so I wasn't able to speak. To you. Uh, so I've listened to the idea uh, of putting down whatever happened and people's stories, kind of like uh, a documentary. It's not a bad idea, uh, but as as um, Gish has told you, it is kind of risky at some point because uh, these stories have to be verified. And that's why they tell in court someone is a suspect before. Before he's accused, before before court gives its judgment, so someone may tell you stories or that, but without proof, uh, we can't we can't uh, conclude on that. And another thing I'm seeing is uh, if you document most of these stories, uh, it may be a risk to the people themselves, the ones who have given their stories, because names have to be written unless you are going to make it like say this guy's thing and something like that, because they look through eh, people are giving stories about us, they look. Uh, for their names, their ideas and all that. So it is kind of so, uh, dangerous at this point because we all know the government is and all that. Um, but legally, it is not, there's no problem with it. It's, it's people have freedom of expression, uh, freedom of, uh, of speaking anything. Although now, lately, people are taking it so hard that they don't want you to speak anything. They're trying to, eh, to silence people and all that. Yeah, but the idea legally is, it's, uh, it's a good idea. There's no problem with it. Uh, Council, uh, first question, that uh, uh, there are people who have been brought before court and uh, it has proven that it has been proven that they have engaged in uh, uh, crimes 
against the people of Uganda, and also uh, the are corruption scandals that have been proven even by IGG, okay? And so, uh, uh, don't you think that uh, if you combine efforts, uh, we, the, the, uh, the, the people who call the website and uh, the correspondents and then the, the, the lawyers to ensure that we put uh, more legit information on this website? Yeah, with, with, the, with matters which are already settled, it's okay to, to publish them. It's okay. As long as something is verified, eh? yeah, like Mugish has told you, uh, we need to bring out concrete uh, evidence or something which is already verified. Because in law, even uh, he has not accepted. Yeah, they tell you, if you go to court and you start saying, uh, my neighbor told me that I, he saw this one stealing. No, that's not accepted. It must be you. Like, you have verified it. Someone is ready to testify. It is me. Yeah, they're I have a question, Castro uh, uh, there is institutionalized corruption, like that of parliament, whereby parliament is uh, money, uh, taxpayers' money to, 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 to four Ugandans in the name of commissioners. One 500 million, another 400 million, okay? In the name of parliament and parliamentary uh, com- commission awards, okay? How would we do, deal with that? And also, on top of that, uh, you've heard about uh, UBOS spending uh, 60 billion uh, Ugandan shillings on just mere training of the new letters. How do we deal with that kind of uh, uh, institutional corruption? Okay, in such a scenario, uh, you need to first verify how, how and how those MPs spent that money. And, uh, and with UBOS, you need to find out was the money given to UBOS for that purpose? And did UBOS do that same thing? Yeah, so you need to first find out whether the money was first of all given for which purpose and whether the purpose was fulfilled. Yeah, before you start moving. And, uh, yeah, if possible, you bring in proof to defend uh, the positions. Okay, thank you, Council. Uh, uh, lastly, how do we deal with the people uh, uh, who have brought their personal experiences about what happened to them, even when they have not approached courts? Because we realize that many Ugandans cannot afford uh, to report uh, some of these crimes, uh, given the nature of the courts of Uganda, uh, the affordability of uh, lawyers, uh, all legal support, uh, all legal aid, whatever you can call it. So how do we deal with uh, 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 our fellow Ugandans uh, whose personal experiences uh, are, are been really <coughs> touching and we, we didn't feel that we need to document them. Take an example of our comrades who have been uh, uh, imprisoned recently, okay? And they have faced uh, different kinds of torture and uh, 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 sodomizing. How do we deal with such situations? Okay, with Uganda, Uganda is having uh, that Human Rights Commission, but of course now the Human Rights Commission has been, <laughs> I think, overtaken by events and partisan, because now they are afraid to defend the uh, people themselves, whom they are supposed to defend, making Ugandans uh, lose trust in the, the, the commission itself. Uh, although police has come out to say, yeah, let people, the ones who have, uh, who have faced such challenges come out and do that, but Ugandans can sue. If you know you are right, you can sue. Every Ugandan has a right to. Uh, to so if, if a policeman has handled you badly, the videos are there, everything is there, you know his name, you can move court, you can go to court, you sue them, yeah, for either assault or that, bring out all that evidence, sue them personally. Oh, you don't speak like a lawyer, you speak like a normal Ugandan and speak like a layman, a layman who cannot access uh, uh, all that you are talking about, it's like suing, suing has a lot of implications, you know that. So I'm a normal Ugandan uh, and I was mistreated before the hands of uh, the security officers, and I have no voice. Uh, now, because I'm speaking as a lawyer, because I know the legal positions, uh, but as a normal Ugandan, obviously, maybe you can just come out and speak out. It's also fine. You speak out your view of, okay, your, 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 what you went through. Yeah, it's also fine to come out and speak out, because that's what you went through. If they tell you to prove it, you prove it. They aren't sued as beaten as all that. But for me, legally, that's what I'm telling you. You can come out and sue the policeman because they're also not above the law. They're not above the law. And everyone is below the law. Actually, if they realize you have uh, something you did, you saw those policemen who beat uh, it's some border, border guy some time back. Those people, we punish. Those policemen also have uh, those disciplinary, uh, what? Disciplinary committees. They have military. Eh? Those, those guys have those, those different, different sections. So if you sue them, and you bring evidence, they are punished. They are just out of the, the forces. They are also sent to prison. They are, so you also have rights. Don't you just come out and maybe say it in the newspaper so that people just say and feel bad and maybe do something. But you also aim at punishing them for what they did. Because if you just write it in the newspaper, you publish it, it won't help much. People will feel yeah, the police is bad. But if you, you make a move on them, then you will need also punish that policeman individually. Yeah.
So, uh, lastly, assuming that the person has made all attempts to, to put these people uh, 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 to justice and they have so far failed due to the, 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 the broken system, uh, on the side of police, courts of law, uh, and, and other stakeholders, government. So, uh, what, what, do, uh, what do that person do? And how are we going to document uh, their case as, uh, uh, as far as what I've said is concerned? If that person has moved to the courts of law and whatever, they have what subjugated justice on their side. Uh, that's not a tricky part, but, uh, in case you, you have failed with the law, maybe you, I don't know, maybe the judgment in it, but I'm not seeing another remedy there. I can't stop you, you've now exactly come to our point of view that we are looking for, to, to, to add a voice to the voiceless by documenting all these things. So that, because, uh, if, if I experienced uh, uh, torture or anything or mistreatment in the hands of security officers, for example, uh, it's me who experienced it. You may not even have been there, okay? It's upon my discretion to express myself any way I want. And whoever says that I'm lying should come with, with proof that I'm actually lying. And I've realized that on this website, we shall have a portal of allegations, we shall have a portal, <laughs> okay, of unverified uh, uh, stories so that if we give up to maybe Saturdays or two months when, when that very person, the perpetrator has not come out to dispute the, the claims, okay, we can uh, regard uh, those stories as legit. I, I think, uh, I don't know if we can be able to do that. But Councilor Tobias, I hope that you stay around to guide us, uh, just like other councils, uh, Agathas and, and others, so that we can add this up together. Remember, we are leaderless, partless, and whatever, uh, and we, we welcome... Uh, all efforts, okay, on board to ensure that we add this together. <laughs> Who is speaking before being given microphone? Oh. So, much Martin, then I know we shall speak uh, after you. Um, uh, good, um, how can I say this? Good evening, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, Uganda and across the globe. Um, let me start on the topic first and foremost. Uh, I've been so angry the whole day with everything, but um, nevertheless been following up. About the documentation of things and looking out for where we should store them, I think we should store them on cloud. One of the, the, the cloud storage we could use, we could use um, Dropbox, you know, because even if uh, we could use Dropbox and maybe we, we have about like six people who can be able to access and get the information and for, for future use, because the things we want to document and store are things not for the current system, because the current system will never provide the justice. Why am I saying this, guys? Then if you ever not, if you ever go back to history during the Nuremberg trial in Germany, the people that were brought to trial were people who were very superior during Hitler's reign. But because at the time when those people were in power, they never thought that at some point people would ever have evidence about them. But nevertheless, people had evidence that had been with them for years and for so long. So I encourage guys. If we are looking at having a documentation of, every, of everything, let's not look at how our courts will approve them or disapprove them. No. Let people come out with evidence, with medical evidence for those who have been sodomized, everything captured and restored one day. Because what we are looking at, everyone has to pay for it. Whether you like it or not, the law eventually catches up with everyone. And that is why that Nuremberg trial, that's one of the things we pick out from them. I think uh, Dr. Stella can lighten us more about that this is in German, <clears throat> about that trial, what transpired. So, guys, if we are documenting, documenting these things, preliminary as if our courts will be able to verify our things. We know our court systems. Once in a while, it can give you justice. But, of course, they're all captured. On such matters, of course, they will not be on our side. That's one. We should agree to it. But we should agree to it. Get to documenting uh, for future trials. Okay. That for future, not to appease the current system. Even if the current lawyers or the current judges don't give us what we want. For us, let's document them. A Nuremberg trial, to whether people like it or not, at some point, the, the international law has to catch up with them. If the common law or the local law cannot catch up with people, one day, the international law will catch up with them. So I encourage, yes, let, let us encourage more people to come out. Because most of our people who come out, they'll be thinking that maybe we are going to rely on our local courts. And they are afraid that our local courts will, will not give them the justice they want. But we should encourage them and tell them to come out because we are relying on the international courts of justice. 
nga nga naba jamani wafuna that justice during the Nuremberg trial kuba ibisera bibari mu la Hitler yabafuga la yakola bachi na ne his cronies they, 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 I mean, they couldn't rely on the, the justice system in Germany. But eventually, the international law caught up with those people when Hitler was overthrown. So, it was a relying on. I encourage guys, document those things. Havana never buy you. Let's, whether what, because even if there's evidence, of course, our system will try to debunk it. But let's make sure that evidence is captured. Because in Mubuja, I mean, it will come out. Evidence, you see, people, one time Justice Kanye Hamba made a statement and said that one thing I love about the law, is no matter what you do, it will eventually catch up with you. Whether you twist it to whichever direction you want it, it will eventually catch up with you. So the law will always remain the law. <laughs> exactly. So let's let's document our things knowing that for future reference, at a basically on an international level, you get into a bantu but you fetu ba jetu ba gamba le tebuli chimu tu chiteke yo tu chikipi ngeko zeno sisi meja kugwa ne mune fula mutia eja kugwa you get but what we want is even when it goes down it has to pay for everything the father of people's uh, 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 cases to go and hard like that no one should think everything will just go down the brain like that we should encourage them to come out that, that I would say to you guys yes encourage that and one of the, the cloud storages we can use is uh, Dropbox because that one documents can be there for as many as as I don't know but check it and uh, we can allow maybe like 10 even more people who can have access to it because it's a cloud storage uh, mechanism uh, it, it can't be erased it can't be what it can be accessed anytime the other thing uh, I want to also say is um, um, guys uh, let's let's really Today I was chatting with someone Nangamba and I and I, I I I smiled at them and then I told them every time you feel like something is 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 breaking up, that is when it's the strongest. At the worst moment, that's when your faith is supposed to be the strongest and the hardest and the most resilient. So every time, because people are seeing things happening. I mean, you're seeing what is happening today. Someone had a chief rule, they come out with a period of thing. Yes, it's their right, it's their constitutional right. They like people, they are Ugandans who are clever, but they are not even a man. And some people are like, eh, even the people still go for such concerts and what? Like, you get. But then I told them, do not worry, because that is where the strength is needed the most. Because if you know your name, you won't. Nemo Butu, you say that, yeah, yeah, you. Mobutu also was a leader for almost 42 years. Oh, yeah. Naina Nava Indi, I'm seeing that we see in He eventually he left. So nobody should ever make you feel like there are demigods in this world. There's no demigod. There's only one supreme god. Eventually they fall. Let's always encourage our people that way that they should not lose that faith. Thank you, Martin. What's happening? Let them not lose it, guys. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin. Please let me let me, let me finish up with this. I encourage guys. We need those flyers in different languages. We need them so badly. Why? Because we do not want this thing to look like a, it's a Kampala-based thing. We, some of us, are, we are willing to even travel up country to make sure that message is dropped and, and, and spread everywhere. So the reason why we need those flyers is because we, this Manda Mano is for the whole country, not only basically downtown or Wavichi. No, this is a whole nationwide um, protest. And our people in the villages have to know about it. So I encourage people, do whatever you can. Support us, okay? Support every Ugandan you can, especially the people in diaspora. You understand the things happening at home. The hardships, the challenges. Imagine to say, "Hold it." So, no, who came first between the two? I don't know. I don't know who came first between I know Mugisha and Sule, but let's first have I know Mugisha. Then I know Mugisha. Then came before Chisu. Okay, okay, okay. So I know Mugisha. I'm here to talk to us. All right, I got you guys. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, oh, oh. Um, I want to first get some briefings, then in action plan. Um, I would like to talk to Council Tobias. Oh, sorry. Go on, go on. Yes, 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 listen. Okay, I wanted him to first uh asuka and take a briefing ku SP Nigelo, yeah Uganda then uh to get it daku. Also Tobias, how would the question here? 
You can start Tobias right away. Yeah, you can speak. Uh, I would like to know wa mugwanga Uganda tulina espionage law ejeta immediate then to reach the ku but to the source ko eto na we put da have the gurunga bogera. Ko le the interview direct. Okay, indeed, uh, in Uganda we have uh, intelligence, the intelligence is there, and uh, people have a right to privacy. And uh, Article 24, they have a right to privacy. And uh, there's also what they call defamation. If, if you have been following the news, there's uh, this case where this journalist was trying to frame, I think, Honorable Ho, the leader of opposition, Honorable Joel Senyoni. And then later came out saying, ah, I just say my things. And all that, yeah. So that's where the risk is. Eh? That's where the risk is in. in uh, let, 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 let me take, let me take you through what I'm talking about. Espionage. It's a it's a practice of spying or obtaining a political or meta information without asking uh, anybody. So that's the fucking thing that I got to ask right here. It's not fucking connected to that fucking shit you're talking about. Okay. Usually the the police and. Uh, yeah, the police force. They have, uh, they have that, that privilege to, 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 to what? To do intelligence work. So that they keep the, 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 the country at bay, like they keep the law and order and all that. Eh? Yeah, so usually they, they are, they are law. Actually, it's called, uh, I don't know, I'm forgetting it. Uh, but they also have departments that do that. Uh, so they have the law that defends them in such scenarios. Okay, let me let me take you through because <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, like what what I what I would like us to talk about because it's very sensitive. That's why I'm like I, I wanted the briefing before we, <laughs> we dump the seat right there where where it should be. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if we put up what we want to put up, I don't want to mention anything right here because we we are not safe. If we put up what we want to put up, and uh, the cocoons happen to know uh, um, how do gabari because. Uh, <laughs> All right, we can we can make we can make it the way the way we have been talking about it since, since uh, eleven p.m. But is there any law like strong law that can go against us? For me, the law, the only thing that I said can can be maybe against such an arrangement is maybe uh, the, the civil law. Uh, because most of them will say, ah, maybe they're just defaming me and all that. That's why the only problem is. Uh, all right. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me take you through this. Um, you know what happened in 2010 when uh, Julian Assange uh, 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 spied and brought out uh, the corruption and whatever was happening uh, through the former Army Intelligence Analyst, uh, Charles Money, uh, the Baghdad saga of U.S. He was obtained for almost 10 years. He had just been raised recently, and he had to first consent that uh, America was free. Uh, like they didn't do anything, and he had to get freed. So, and they wanted to put him in prison for 175 years. You get it? No, 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 no. I know Gisha, stop there. Don't intimidate us. No, what that case you're talking about is because the the, the charges you know they they put on him it was because they believed oh, there was belief that you know the information he exposed you know put the uh, men in uniform in different missions uh, in trouble. What, what I'm saying is. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything to, to make you fear. I want, that's why I, I asked the council to be able to first brief me if we have that law. If we don't have it, we can do everything we want. That's why, that's, it's, it's what it is. So I, I'm not putting anyone in fear unless you're, you're not more of what I'm talking about or you're not of interest of what we are dealing with. So uh, I, I know Mugisha, be clear. Are you asking to uh, Uncle to, uh, Council Tobias? Yes, uh, yes, yes. About uh, that particular law. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Council Tobias. Uh, I think Mugisha, Mugisha, you you send me that that case, and I also make some more research about such a law so that I give people uh, what the law says about it because we need to move, knowing the legal positions, and people don't need to fall in in shit and all that. But people have a right to speak out. What they went through, because as long as someone is sure, that's what they went through. They have a right to speak. They have a right to come out and say what they went through. Yes, that's why I'm like, we need to first know the consequences. Then we put the shit out. I need to be <laughs> goddamn shit like we want it because we, we fear nobody, but still, we we need to collectively get that very information. And it will be, you know, information is science. So 
<laughs> it will be verified, like verified and testified. But still, we need to know if we have that SP energy law that can put us somewhere where we don't want to be. It's what it is. That's what I'm just asking. So as you requested, I'll, I'll try to get your inbox and send you uh, the whole thing. Then you do the research and you let us know. Then we see how we can go about it. Oh, thank you. I know Mukisha. Uh, let's have uh, Mr. Chisule. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. I was just, you know, uh, just encouraging that you know we should go, uh, we should go forward with this, uh, we, you know, with the data, with the database, because uh, we wouldn't have known that you know the sodomizing, uh, the sodom is you know going on uh, in the. Uh, in, in these, you know, sales, if, you know, someone didn't write about it during the NRA or versus Kony. So for that reason, we have to, you know, document every, every step that we take. We have to document every story. Uh, good enough, you know, these spaces are recorded. We have to, you know, to keep all this. This is all, you know, database. This is all data that is, that will be needed to be, uh, as reference points on what transpired from now, you know, to the future. So I think that is a brilliant idea and, Whichever way you need support, reach out. Uh, definitely, we'll have to, you know, to, 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 to put this up. And then, you know, someone saying about espionage should not, you know, scare us into, you know, silence. Uh, espionage happens when, you know, you smuggle, uh, maybe, you know, sensitive information that, you know, puts the country at risk. What we are talking about, the corruption, we are talking about uh, all these heinous crimes that have been committed by the state are public information. So, for example, I, 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 I tried, you know, to, uh, to search about, you know, corruption uh, uh, videos in the news, but I found it hard. So something like this that could be a reference point. It could be, you know, uh, information that, you know, that is already published, uh, short videos uh, of NTV that were already, you know, stories that were already run. So I think we, the earlier stages will, uh, will concentrate on, you know, on uh, already available information that is already published, but it's scattered so that, you know, uh, it is in one place. And then, you know, the second stage might be, you know, curation of data as uh, things like spaces. We hold this space about this. This is what we talk about. These were the speakers and uh, stuff like that. And then, you know, uh, the third, which is creation of, uh, of, of data that, you know, includes, you know, people who are writers are uh, making sense of, you know, the situation as it goes. So, uh, I, I don't let anyone, you know, intimidate us about things like espionage, about all these, all these cases. Because what we are talking about are people in public offices. It's not, you know, a matter of national security or something. Are people in public offices? Yes, it's a matter of national security. Uh, misusing funds that are supposed to, you know, to take care of us. So it becomes a matter of national security, but not to that sensitivity that, you know, these uh, guys are throwing about, you know, around, of, you know, issues of espionage, issues of uh, 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 defamation and stuff like that. As long as it is a fact, uh, uh, if, even when, you know, even when you, you see Agora, when they pub uh, when they did uh, the match to uh, the, no the exhibition the parliament exhibition the information that was published was official information official documents that you know were, which is public you know for public information needs which needs to be consumed by the public so I second the motion and uh, uh, reach out in case you know uh, you need a you need a hand thank you uh, thank you uh, Mr Chisule I'm seeing Michael uh, of course uh, raising up the hands but before uh, Jim uh, just one minute I want to ask uh, Council Tobias. Uh, there are matters in the course of law that have been adjudicated on already, eh? uh, on matters cons uh, pertaining corruption, uh, uh, crimes against humanity, uh, violations of, of human rights. Eh? So how can we work with uh, uh, you lawyers to ensure that we bring uh, these cases to light and ensuring that uh, those people uh, get justice in the case they didn't? Okay, you have said the matters have been taken to court and handled. Okay, that's what I'm getting from you. So, are you trying to say that uh, you have taken them to court and I've said that there's nothing else you can do? No, um, Councilor Tobias, yeah. when, when you're arguing out cases before a courts of law, you even cite precedent, you even cite cases that in the, uh, the case of uh, Tobias versus Martin in 2003, eh, all those cases, pertaining corruption, and, and human rights violations, we realize that those people may, might not even have got justice, even when the matters were settled in court of law, because they, they are perpetrators, we are either government officials, or uh, maybe uh, connected to people in the government. So how can we bring those cases to light, since as you counsels, you know them very well? Okay, this is for us in law. Uh, all those cases cited in court, okay, uh, those cases act as examples. Now, you can't cite a case 
which has a principle like which failed. Now, like uh, for example, maybe if you are applying for bail, you say, uh, my friend, uh, maybe then I'm Africa. Uh, we are applying for bail and all that. In the case of uh, bringing maybe Kaziwe, Kaziwe was the Kaziwe case, bail was defined and all that. This is what God said. But if at the end the case failed, there's no you can rely on it because it failed. So you only cite cases which you buy in court, which you show court that the thing will succeed. So it's not a matter of saying. What I'm saying, I show you that the, the, the case succeeded, uh, uh, but the culprit was not put uh, to justice, or, or it was not held accountable, uh-huh. given that he was maybe well connected to the government and just uh, got away with it. <coughs> okay, usually, usually they can't. The culprit can't be okay. Like you can't succeed in the case and they don't give you justice. Usually, you can't succeed in the case and they don't give you justice because uh, okay, in such a scenario, those cases someone can appeal. Can appeal because they, uh, they usually those different grounds of appeal. If you are failure, you satisfied with the magistrate court, you appeal to high court, you appeal to court of appeal, you appeal to Supreme Court until you succeed. Yeah, so you can't rely on uh, on such a, a case which has not gone through. Okay, Jamie. Okay. Jamie, take on. Thank you very much, host. And I think what. Um, Jim was, uh, was trying to say, that was, um, I am actually seeing it's trying to ask um, Council Tobias that is, are there any laws that it Ghana or Kuteka in information more public? Are there such laws? That is what he's trying to ask. That if there are not any laws, is it Kuata, is it Ghana or Kuteka or Kula website, you know, to take it so that people can view it, then can we go ahead? So he's trying to ask you, do we have laws as Tugano College in Tungachino? So if we don't have such a law in Uganda, Titegeza, Nti, Tuli free or Kuchikola, Kwanga the Twinachin to Chituko Mako Chikola, Kwanga never to Nakura to Tia, system with the Turani, sir, Nuemukola Mutia, we have seen people till now, some of us, Twina Bantu, the Takaria Pava government, Tilari Tuala, Nenga Yapa to be in a Mayumba, Ngachapa Chamwe, Nengo Ria Janea Kariza Dara 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 and Chapa Che. Nenga na yachi mani vuru unjini na bomlanzi bachi mani vuru unjini yo eta kasiya. So when we try to document these things, into seeing that government e chuka, kwa galu mto ya tuvuli eta kanyali diawa. I know of a friend. This is someone I grew up with. These are guys I've seen since I was a baby. They woke up one day and they were told, "Awe baba ya siwa we." But can you imagine on such a day? Aina umwana aini the university. Awa kuli de, eche manga mama mama yewe we were amwas we were mam like the mom was married to the uh, I mean the aunt was married to the same family from the same family and then uh, someone wakes up and tells you mamu ina nevi apa mubila bila kodi they have been in court for twenty years you know what that means and the court has not done anything they had to wake up and put that case aside niwa gamba Let's tell the story. Let's keep the pictures. Let's keep the biapa. Jakuba lumu abana bafe ba jakurani yire biafe. So, what Jim is asking is there a law that is actually a tugana or being judged to siba that would have the public information in the public? We took it internet to our website and people can access it. Is there a law a to siba? It was a law of Council Tobias. Era no kongereza konti eri teka linasibani na dalanga we leader less partless whatever Asa Tobias Jolly Asa Tobias like against Kumbulango uh but uh, for starters uh Uganda who have just joined us we are discussing how basic can document uh, the crimes the corruption scandals or the upheavals the the the, the tortures uh, that have been committed against Ugandans in just one website and database to ensure that I actually keep track on them uh, and ensure also that uh, these people uh, are held accountable on individual basis. So uh, that's the, the, the point of discussion. Hey, I'm trying to, to re-approve uh, Council uh, Tobias. He has dropped, but I don't know why it is failing uh, to... Uh, Jemo, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Well, I don't know why Councillor Tobias's request is not. A demo dropping, a demo sorry. Anyway, Ngatana wa kujia. Um, Richard, talk to us. Richard. 
Unmute and talk to us. Richard. Richard, Richard are you there? Yes, I'm here. Give me a second. Hey, good evening. Good morning. It's Richard here from Stockholm. How are you? Yeah, well, how are you doing? Good, good. So I stumbled into you discussing this illegality of presenting stuff of which you collected during this, uh, um, yeah, this period. Uh, I think well, someone mentioned that uh, most of this information is public, and I, I wouldn't see that there's any law one is breaking, putting out already a public information. Um, so in terms of espionage, I mean, I mean, we, who are we disseminating this information to? Is within the public domain. So, which brings me to probably something I hinted on a while ago. I shared some information to some of the colleagues here on the space. Uh, and corruption itself, I think we're touching just a fraction of what is really uh, plaguing the country. All these are uh, Anita and Pug and all that stuff, these are speed nuts. There's a lot of uh, streams of funds which we lose without even knowing where this goes. And this is coming uh, from the streams from our donor countries. For me, I live in Sweden and uh, I, I have public access to all the money which comes into Uganda. Uh, but I can bait most of even the MPs there don't know which kind of money we're getting in and where uh, it goes. And we're just talking about Sweden. Yeah. If you look at all the countries which have uh, who are our development partners in Uganda, those who have embassy there, they have interests and they always give us donations. Yeah. Donations to different projects because they have different interests. So if you go to any embassy or any chamber of commerce, they have access to what they are investing in in the country. And they can, you can, essentially, we as Ugandans, we can be more vigilant in the sense to um, function as an IG, uh, IGP or an auditor. So this money is coming from, for this project, um, is it going to the right cause uh, uh, or not? Now, I'm just looking at some of the documentation of the money coming here um, from from Sweden, I'll just give you an example. Connect rural Uganda, leaving none none behind in the digital era. Yeah, this is money which is supposed to lift up the different rural areas in Uganda. Yeah, and you, uh, we have a donation of eleven million two hundred eighty one three hundred US dollars. Who is following up that money? Is it really developing the rural areas? My guess would be that no one has a clue. So I think we need to be more vigilant to the sense that we need to find out how much money we get from every development partners. Uh, which projects, because this is really evident yeah, here, and you can pick it at a Swedish embassy in Uganda um, because it's not public information. And then you can fast track who is who's leading these projects. Is it really doing the right thing? But the problem um, we have when we come from these people, they do this in good faith and they hand this money to some local people. And we know who the local people are working for, and it never goes to the right, uh, the right, um, uh, the right, in the right um, direction. So I guess to answer your question, I mean, you can still document this, this information, whichever information on, on the ground in terms of who they are arresting. Um, as long as some of this information is not in the court of law and it's still under investigation and it has to be factual, you can just give out or um, smear campaign someone without any proof uh, because it's their, uh, their, their word again, your word again is theirs because you're not being in the dungeon where you, where you claim you were raped. I mean, it, that would be contentious to put it out there without any evidence or probably without going probably to a doctor to examine like, okay, uh, you came there and they examined you that you were raped and all that stuff. So anything which is half half, you can't just put it out in the public domain because they, then they, you're going to be sued or you're going to be picked to, to verify the information you're giving out. So you have to be very cautious. But for all this information, which is out there in the public, uh, we can just follow it and say, yeah, well, who's, who, who's leading this project? Uh, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, work to do. And, um, and again, we have to go back to something I had, um, um, uh, I think it was Irene the other day talking about trying to be organized, creating a database to, to try to define the roles who's doing what. So we, we have a lot of ground and just being all over the place as if we're just excited to just get Anita Among. Of course, Anita Among is the first, uh, stumbling block because that house really, uh, defies the law of the land. Uh, so if these people cannot really do their work, then the whole country is that mess. So, you know, first things first, we need to get Anita among from there. We need to clean the house. The MPs are just silent. Uh, listen to what happened recently. Uh, I heard that one of our colleagues was released and has been re-arrested. We have the head of security for the leading opposition leader being picked. So we have bigger 
bigger um, problems than just even going for uh, an interview. So um, I guess what, what we are challenged with is how we get this information to the masses. And I think we really need to to use practical um, information or cases which are really very out there in terms of what money has been uh, stolen and what would that money be, um, what would that money w- would mean if it was spent for those people we're trying to sell these to. We really need to speak in the, the language they will understand. Yeah? We need to tailor make the message based on which people on the ground. You go into the village, I mean, you, you paint a picture, this money was stolen, or you know what it will mean that you have a road, you will have a electricity in your village, you will have water, you'll have schools in the villages. We need to, you know, we need to be, you know, painting pictures of what it would be if that money was not stolen. And instead of saying it's just corruption, just a general thing, corruption, yes, um, what does that mean? Where, where, where do I fit into the picture? So we need to be very, very hands-on when we're going down, especially in the rural areas and the villages and trying to get to sell them this idea of being part of the experience as, instead of just concentrating in the urban areas where people are enlightened that they know what corruption is, you know. So I think that's the challenge we are facing. But in terms of building information, it's all out there. Um, of course, we'll talk about some of these things as we go on. But yeah, kudos to you guys. I think um, this is the right um, place. We uh, we go to uh, General Museven in. I mean, uh, because actually, uh, Richard, uh, uh, you talked about uh, that uh, uh, an important thing which we, we discuss here. Uh, I told uh, even Council Tobias that uh, uh, apart from even uh, mentioned people by name, uh, there is uh, an institutionalized corruption in Uganda, whereby you find companies, government companies like Wememe. Uh, uh, cheating Ghanans, uh, having uh, fake uh, tokens, uh, having up to more than 10,000 fake meters. And uh, you also find uh, companies, uh, let me say, like uh, these telecom companies, yeah. also cheating Ugandans. So, so, so there are, there are different companies. The, the, uh, uh, corruption has been institutionalized also. So it's not individual only. But you have to, to, to mention uh, those companies, whether government companies or private country companies that are cheating Ugandans. So that is also a port on website of this kind. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, and this goes back to this information I'm giving you, which is coming from these donor com- countries. Um, y- we don't know is really um, um, representing because when they're signing this contract, it's a, a government agent who's uh, signing them on behalf of the, the, the government. But we can see, uh, without a shadow of doubt, I see some of this money. Uh, but I don't see anything with really reflected on the ground that this was done. Yeah. If you go in the villages, you don't see anything. So you wonder where this 11 million US dollars and it's an ongoing project. Connect the rural Uganda, leaving none behind in the digital era. Yeah. It is financed and uh, you don't see any, any shade of difference in the rural areas, whether it's Canberra Maido or Mbarara or up in Gulu. You, where does this money go? Yeah. Who's following up this? Yeah? We have the consensus, but I think those pretty much are, um, uh, limited to some some of these government uh, projects or institutions, but this money coming in from the from abroad, who is monitoring that and where does it go? That's where that's this is too much that even it's just too. Uh, I mean, it is uh, sometimes you feel frustrated when you see these kind of figures. So yeah, I've shared some of this information to some of the big um, um, political figures we know. Um, uh, yeah. Richard, uh, this is what you can do for mm-hmm. us. You can share the same information to us because we shall be the same people to, to, to publish it in the, on, on the website. But we shall not attach a name that Richard gave us that, this information. Okay. For purposes of uh, understanding uh, and communication, you uh, help us publish. Okay. You help us send that information. And for us, our job is to put it uh, into public uh, domain uh, so that Ugandans can see how much uh, is being stolen from them. And also, uh, if you have any other related information, because uh, I know that uh, many people, uh, many Ugandans outside country ha- have even uh, 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 very concrete information about things happen, uh, happening in their country. Some of them even ran from their country due to, to, to acts of intimidation and all that stuff. So, uh, Richard and uh, people uh, uh, outside the country, Mr. Sula and so forth, I believe that we can work together and bring these people on board to ensure that we can uh, realize uh, what we are doing. Yeah, this this information is readily available because I can share it. I don't have a problem, you know, um, you know, um, saying it's for me or something. But I, um, let me see. 
Um, is Martin on online? Martin's online. Yeah, I think I said some of the, but I mean, this this is too much information. You can just play around and filtering this, but I can still share some, you know, because every time I, I look at different data, because I can filter, okay, what do I am looking for? I'm looking for rural uh, investment. I'm looking for health. You can just filter what you want based on, um, and, and it's pretty much very direct. So I can share this in your DM. Yeah, actually, actually, we, 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 uh, we'll oh, I, uh, provide. I can, I can do like this. I can just give you one piece at a time. Yeah, just um, instead of you having to the trouble to filter this, I can. No problem. Can no problem. No problem. Is, you know, it's a lot of information, but I can, uh, especially these ongoing projects, which are, um, uh, uh, because some of them are closed. But here you can see, um, UN Joints Program. Uh, you have World Bank for the Health. Maternal Child Care Services, uh, UN Women in Uganda. It's an ongoing project. Um, they're sponsoring this access to justice program. Uh, these are the people who are incriminated. You know, you know. I mean, they, they give them a lot of money to put our sisters in jail. They're getting a lot of money. I don't know how much. They're getting ten million, ten million four hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars to just incriminate our sisters. It's ridiculous. So now I'll say I was review some of these things um, every now and then. And then it's, it's up to you to disseminate it to whoever you want to disseminate it. Okay, thank you. And uh, for another thing is that uh, we are going this uh, this website is not going to to be based in Uganda for purposes of clarity. Uh, this is to 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 ensure that it's secure and safe enough. Uh, uh, also, it's not going to be based in one country. Some people think that I know uh, I was sitting I was sitting in Uganda and called and then uh, put the website up. No, uh, it's not going to be like that. We are going to have a team uh, from different countries, and uh, we are going to do uh, different consultations. And if uh, for any course that will be involved, we shall be coming uh, on different spaces uh, of this kind and inform Ugandans uh, here and abroad. Uh, but it's so unfortunate as we get to know uh, more about what is happening in your country. We even um, feel more sudden. Do you know, Martin, before that, you first met him. Okay, uh, Richard. Uh, Richard. Yeah, I want to hear you. Okay. There is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, our country has been turned into a personal business of maybe Mr. Museveni and uh, uh, his uh, his people. Uh, so there, there are a lot of things that are happening in this country which people don't know, which Richard knows, but Martin doesn't know, which Bob knows, but JMO does not know. Okay? And so, uh, 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 when I know Mukisha talked about the security threats, whatever, the intelligence, whatever, when we, we are resolving to do this, uh, we underlook all the, those things. We saw that it's the right thing to do. Because our people have been kept in darkness. They don't know that, uh, some of the things. They don't know that their country is being sold in part. Okay? And so, uh, this is the right time for us to do so. Uh, bringing everyone on board to ensure that, uh, we don't make this information. And maybe it will help, uh, now or in the near future to hold all these people accountable. Because some of these people, uh, have produced these children, they have grandchildren, and they think that they still coexist with us in Uganda after doing all sorts of th th these things. And so, uh, when we don't hold them accountable, okay, it will be a big reward for their, uh, uh, bad actions, for their crimes against Ugandans, okay? In, 19, uh, uh, in around 1650s, in around 1650s, Oliver Cromwell, uh, overthrew the monarch. Of, of, of Britain, okay, overthrowing uh, King Charles the, the first, okay, and he instituted the Republic, okay, and he did all sorts of evil, huh? killed, destroyed uh, uh, the, the 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 cultural uh, uh, institutions, uh, buildings, what he destroyed a lot of things, okay, and after he was overthrown by King Charles II, the second, uh, oh no 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 no, after he died, actually died around 1658. Okay, so when King Charles the second came into power uh, and the, the monarch was restored, even the corpse of Oliver Cromwell was exhumed, okay, and tried before a court, and it was executed. 
no mulambo gwa oliva ko premwero bagusimayo ne bagukeka mu koti ne baguzesa ne bamana ne bagusaliwa musango ne bagu executing ne baguzika okay that is the extent that is the extent that these people will not commit these crimes and get away with them okay we no one no one never say we don't get enough as long as we get a credible uh, government in a credible democracy we have to hold these people accountable it, it doesn't matter what time it will take okay it's not about the time okay if maybe they they succeed in their dictatorship maybe our children and grandchildren will know and appreciate our efforts that actually we did our best we documented all this information for their reference okay maybe it will help them in their history so that they don't uh, read history based on lies and this it they read credible history because Museven and his friends have tried to even destroy uh, the history of the past governments blackmailing the past leaders the obotes uh, uh, the aminis even even diluting their good deeds for God's sake and so Museven could, 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 could attempt to destroy all this information before he even document it so that he's not held accountable and is culprits. And so we must act and we must act now to ensure that we, if we don't get any foreseeable liberty, our children will. Richard, as you conclude. So, uh, um, yeah, this is what I can say. And a lot of people who are here who are probably around 45 plus, they can relate. Um, and this is what is General Seven is trying to do. Yeah. When he left the Bush wall, I think there's something we missed, at least in my generation, uh, because General Seven came to power when I was like, uh, I think I was in senior two. Um, so, and this goes back to what, how, how the Bush war impacted our families and our parents and our grandparents. Um, there's something which our parents didn't tell us, but what I sense, and I think I, I started to relate to this, last year and um, on something which probably was troubling me um i remember i was in hsc and uh, just leaving hsc uh, about going to leave hsc and then my dad left a very good job at, at the bank and started a retail shop of course how would you say so i, I never understood why he left his job to do something open it just a retail shop and do that but there's a lot of things our parents went through and they hid a lot of information from us. They must, have, they must have known what was going on, especially those who were in the public institutions. There's something General Seven and his group did to the public servants to intimidate, and that's, this is written over now of why the old institutions have been overrun. Yeah. So they were intimidated. They, I mean, there's a lot of things probably they did to them to the extent that some of them had to, to resign from their jobs to do something else. This is what, and at one time I asked my aunt, why did dad leave his job in the back? Yeah. So, the, and this is just coming up, popping up here. But I mean, when we, we left school and we left the country, of course, we, we didn't question these things. But when you look back, there's something which was not right. See, when you look at Uganda, it's pretty much a mess. I mean, the certain things I can relate to back. If you look at that Chikubo, the people who started that Chikubo, they, they were in a way, Evicted from it. Some of them fled to, to Canada. Some of them fled to, to, to the U.S. There's a lot which happened under the radar. So what Museven is doing is trying to play the same, the same game. So he intimidated our, uh, our, our parents. Our parents, um, made us submissive. Uh, what they call Mueva Koturo, Msaja Mulika at Fugevi TV TV TV. That's what they used to say. They were, they, they wanted us not to, those who are militant. Believe me or not, there's some people who are really ready to take out General Museveni, a uh, five or ten, ten, ten years in power. But there was always those dissenting voices. I, uh, you don't get yourself involved in politics, the, uh, Vajakuta, all these things. There were all those voices that were coming from our parents and our grandparents. They were tired of the war, the eight, six year old war. Yeah. So that's what, what happened. So when you come to my generation, most of them are pretty, very comfortable. And they're those, they're the ones who were like, I don't need to, to get myself involved in politics. So now comes your generation. You don't know anything our parents went through. You've only seen one president. Yeah. And then you can't, he can't tell you all these, you know, good lies. Uh, you know, we brought peace. We brought sleep to you because he has not served you. Truth be told, of all the 62 years we've been in independence, you can't tell me under 40 years. 
Yeah, the country is looking as a shit hole, the city. Yeah, as it is. Yet we're getting a lot of funding from the these Western um, countries. So kudos for you guys to starting up. But I mean, you're facing, or we are facing a big task because right now it's fighting back and it's fighting viciously to the extent it's picking up people from their own homes. So that's how disparate it is to be in power. So as long as we decide to be vigilant and resilient, I think, I think we can still uh, take him on for those who can, for the better of the country. I yield my mic. Thanks, guys, for listening. Okay, if there is no any new speakers, you allow me to close this space, and within three hours, we'll have a morning shift uh, held by Mr. Uh, Kalanyazi and uh, Elam Dada. Uh, Martin? Martin? I just want to compliment something small on what Richard has said. If you've seen the comment section, there are some of the things I've tried to share in regard to what I've had. Okay. Our nation, we are, we are having this management of funds. When you look at those Martin, figures... Martin, you are How about now? It's my Martin, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go now. Am I stable now? You are no. trying to be. Okay, okay. In... Richard, can you please mute your mic? Huh? I can mute your mic, Richard. Uh, Richard, mute your mic. Yeah. Martin, I hope that you'll give us that information in the morning during Dr. Stella Nyanzi's space. So thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Jimo. Um, um, I've seen you around. Ellen Dada, I see you. Um, what I have to say is, um, we as Ugandans have spent 40 years under a man, uh, at Alese Wichibi. Because when you hear about their stories, I mean, they are moving, they were sent. But when it comes to this generation, this is just that one man that, Muji demo buli chibi. Mwemuli, eh, mwemuli okusajuka, that's it, the right, the right word. Mwemuli okusajuka kwa bufumbu. This is where you find women uh, who are not respecting their husbands. This is where you find men who just father children and they're okay with it. This is where you find mothers who are selling off their children. This stupid regime. Buli chintuwe chibi, chajani museveni. And um, if we do not wake up, and fight because I know most people think into Bagenda Kurana, a very common regime. Yes, so you know, Kurana, I'm coming up with Yamba, no Vedao, no Vedao Konora, no Malanova. But we have chosen this struggle, it's not going to take one year or two years. I'm coming into two Yamba, I'm coming into two Yamba, but what we could take, we could take with Tengaba, now Uganda, and to call the Muni Muga to no Kola, into educating our country to allow it to No one said into Mustrago and the Mugana Kuba challenges. Like I always say, we are going to die if we have to die. But why do we have to think that we are going to die? We have smartphones, but we don't use them for the right reasons. We don't. We don't have to use them for the right reasons. We don't have to use them for the How do you wake up? How does someone wake up and kill nightlife that you want to send? I don't have to use them for the right reasons. I don't have to use them for the right reasons. I don't have to use them for the right reasons. And I was surprised. I thought people were sleeping. But people were working. And then during that time, people were working. COVID These guys did it deliberately to kill. Because they knew people were getting money. And stupidly, they took it on. Because they want us to be beggars. It is really sad. So, we sit around. And then we tell ourselves, we are going to be that thing. We need to be the best generation that has done something our parents did not do. We need to break their lives. Wanga tulibalimba nyo 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 nyo. Tulibalimba. Nemo bitagasa. Someone lies to your face. And you're looking at them straight in the face. They are lying to you. Yalo was a kula chamani. And then you're like, you're lying to me but it's gonna come back. You're not telling them actually. But you're like, you're lying but it's gonna come back. And eventually it comes back. So we wake up, go and vote for them to represent us. And then all they do is stab us in the back. Yeah? So we sit around and watch this impunity go on. Okumaya tuliba siru baziru. Guno gusa jaguno mutima epiti livu. Tuweza demu. Mutribes is really different and we still have the audacity 
to point fingers. Are you going to kill your cousins because they are Rwandese? Do we ever think about, do we ever sit down to ask ourselves, do we ever sit down to ask ourselves these questions? Personally, I, I, I mean, personally, I'm Tanzanian. My mother is Ugandan. I have Uganda cousins. I have Luo cousins. I have Itesot. I have Karamin Jones. I have all in one family who are married to other women from the West, from the East, from the South, from whatever. And this idiot wakes up and tells us, and other tribes ride on. How do you ride on when you own a house in Buganda? And yet it is really, uh, it is really hard for any other person to have land in those spaces. How do you wake up? How does anyone wake up? And I'm not even making this tribal. I'm just trying to make people understand that we should be respectful. Hmm? This idiot that has a Muganda woman, is it who? Dora Winyo, who is that stupid judiciary idiot that said things? You have a wife at home, you have kids with. And you shamelessly stand there and have the right to insult Uganda because uh, you, want, you guys want to keep us with hate. Guys, it's time we get away with this bullshit. Seriously. It is time. We need to put all this nonsense behind us and understand one thing. Bobe Zalamu. How about the rest of us? Exactly the point. Eh? So, Bobe Zalamu, sometimes when I see the Shumba open his mouth, I want to pass through the television and slap him. Where do you get the audacity to wake up and open your mouth when you are welcomed in Buganda? You've grown up in Buganda, grown to school in Buganda, and no Buganda has told you get out of our land. We need to stop this nonsense, guys. Honestly, we need to stop it. We need to see beyond Museveni. Atuma atuguma za for a very, very, very long time. Honestly, if I wake up one day and get married to Aminyanko and then walk comes, I should do what the Randis did? Are we stupid? So basically, we sit, we have to, we need to start to think for ourselves. I always tell my clients this. I have clients who come around because they are traveling. I mean to travel. And then someone tells me, Madam Vangamba, every time someone says something like that to me, Mubuza, do you ever sit down and ask yourself, I don't know what you say, but I don't know what Honestly, you need to stop that backstabbing. I don't know what you say, I don't know what you say, I don't know what you say. Literally, we can be around Nigerians and they support us. Kenyans and they support us, Tanzanians and they say, na Uganda. I think I'm not going to be because nothing is totally honest. You want to do something with honesty, but this idiot has taught everyone that you're supposed to be a, a thief. You're supposed to lie. You're supposed to kill. People are dying of depression because they're trying to live lifestyles they can't afford. You're trying to, I earn more than you and you're trying so hard to keep a lifestyle you cannot afford. You can't afford me. And you do not even want to ask.